should try it. Huh? Yeah. Father, I pray that you just guide us, you protect us. And Lord, may we give the gospel tonight, Lord. May we save another one for Jesus, Lord. So Lord, may we establish your kingdom here on earth, Lord. May we do it in this place. May we shine dark, may we shine light into the darkness, Lord. And Lord, may our words be seasoned with salt. Lord, yeah. May we bring another son to glory, Lord. So Lord, I pray that your will be done, your kingdom come tonight, Lord. And Lord, bless all of us tonight and give us godly wisdom to speak your word in truth. And may we not fear man, but fear you, Lord. And may we stand on the gospel, Lord. And may we give an answer to everyone that asks us why we have this hope, Lord. Yeah. I pray yeah. for the protection of Kieran, Jason and myself, Lord. Keep us safe, Lord, while we're in this place. Yeah. And instruct us in, in where we need what we need to say and what we need to do, Lord. So Lord, I pray that that we can plant this gospel seed tonight, Lord, that we can change this yeah. man's heart and that we can say that it can be saved. But Lord, it's not it's not us that are doing it, Lord, it's you, Lord. It's you that draws men to yourself. So Lord, just use us mightily to do that tonight, Lord. Yeah. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Alright folks, we've been invited to the mosque, so we're going to the mosque, three of us. Do you know where to go in there? Do you know where to go? I think so, yeah. He said, uh, he said, make your way. He says, you are most welcome. Make your way straight to the car park. Inside on your arrival, I'll be there. So, the front must be there. So, this is the mosque. <laughs> Do you know where you're going, lads? No. I think it's over that way, you know. I told you, follow the lights. Upstairs, but, uh, yeah, we've been invited to the mosque, so three street preachers going down to the mosque. Taking our shoes off. Do you, have you both memorized the Quran by any chance? Are you, are you um, not very much, um, but uh, some of that because we are ordinary member of um, our community. Yeah. Um, but uh, our uh, missionary in charge, he will be joining us yeah. shortly. Okay. So we will start. Uh, yeah. So, we can take, uh, take so, it, so basically, if I say anything, I'm not here to cause offence, but if I do, that isn't my intention. It's just that we're very passionate about what we believe and you know truth's a big thing in Christianity you know we'd love to you know really take hold of it and we delve deep into it you know we'll go deep in the scriptures and look at what truth is and we'll you know we just want people to know about Jesus basically yeah. Yeah. okay so um first thing I noticed when I read the Quran is Surah 19 verse 28 mm -hmm. okay 
it says that Mary had a brother called Aaron. Okay. So we know from history that Mary never had a brother called Aaron, Aaron you see. And what I found was this in the Bible. I just want to bring to your attention. Numbers 26, 59. Let me read a copy of Quran. Yeah, yeah, no problem. That's fine, yeah. If you want to see that, send it to the screen. If you have a good one, you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that He's the Messiah that's promised in the Bible as well. Yes. He's, he's, the, he's the Messiah. That's that's the one. Okay. I guess, I've yeah. never heard of that before. Is it? Yeah. Uh, this is the main dif sorry, this is the main so, difference between so, India so, so, community so, so. and the mainstream of Islam. Mm -hmm. so the sex yeah. this is the main difference. Yeah. That uh, uh, when there is Muslim communities, only Indian Muslims we believe that the promised Messiah who has been actually promised in Bible by God, in Quran by God, the Prophet Muhammad, by Jesus, he has already arrived, and he is him. So this so is the he come after Muhammad or before Muhammad? After Muhammad, of course. He was coming after Muhammad. Yeah, he was born in 1835. And is that yeah. in the Quran as well? Is it? Yes. It is in the Quran. He's, he's a actually a true follower of Muhammad sallallahu yeah. alayhi So, what, what do you, um, you know, the other Muslim community, the Sunni and the Shia, what did they think about your beliefs about the, the Messiah? Like, yeah, as I told you before, that this is the main difference between Ahmadiyya Muslim community yeah, yeah. and the mainstream of other Islams, Islamic sects. Yeah. Uh, the other Islamic sects of mainstream, they, they still believe that the promised Messiah is yet to come. And most of them believe that the Jesus he will come again as a promised Messiah. Mm, mm. And as we said before, that we believe that he is also the Mahdi, which have, which was promised by a prophet Muhammad, which was yes. promised by God in Bible as well as in Quran. Mm. So he is 
Mehdi and promised Messiah is a single personality that is him. Mm. But the rest, the, the mainstream of Islam, they believe that Mehdi will be a separate personality. Right. And yeah. he will yeah. arrive separately other than the, uh, the Jesus. So this is the main difference between Ahmadiyya Muslim community and uh, the mainstream of Islam. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was helpful. So are you saying that you're right about this man and they are not right about it? This man. Uh, pardon, ask again. Are, are you saying categorically that this is the Messiah, and the other uh, Muslim uh, sects are have got it wrong? Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Basically, uh, all the prophets, all the reformers, when they claim their uh, title or whatever they are claiming, everyone not accept straight away. Right. So some people accept, and some uh, not at the same time. Later on, gradually, they are joining them. So similar like uh, this promised Messiah, he claimed, and very few people blame him, uh, believe him. And then gradually, now, we are all over the world. <coughs> and similar like um, Jesus. Jesus, uh, when he uh, claimed, so how many people uh, believe him? How many people become a Christian? Just only few. Twelve? A lot of Christians now, aren't they? In the world. It's, it's so in his time. time. It's faith, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. It was, no, in, in, in the Bible, there was 3,000 in one day became Christians. Yeah. When? In one, in, day. In one day. No, uh, at the time of? At the time of, uh, after Jesus. Yeah. Just after Jesus after died. Acts chapter 2. Acts yeah, chapter yeah, 2. Yeah, 3,000 yeah. people, just like that. What is this, if I may ask, what is the purpose of the camera? Because we're in we do it all the time, whatever but we do in I think it, it's particularly, in, I think, God to see Christians and Muslims. Right, perfect, yeah. I think that's why I'm filming it, is because if people see that Christians and Muslims are talking together, I think that would be a good testimony. Some social media as well. Yeah. 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 Not, yeah. We're not. We won't edit it. We won't edit it. It's Excellent. just you know. We're not yeah. trying to prove anything. Um. So. Yeah. Because we, we believe as Christians that salvation can only be found in Christ. We can't earn our salvation by good works because the way we look at it, God. Excuse me. Yes, you can carry on, please. Yeah. The way we look at it, God is holy. Yes. And he hates sin. He will not have sin in his presence. So the only way, the way that God atoned for sin in the Old Testament was through animals, sacrifices of animals, the blood of lambs, the blood of goats, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Just temporarily atoned for people's sins. And there's the sin of, sorry, there's the evil. Sorry, there's the Passover festival. So basically, they killed the lamb, and the blood was splattered on the posts, and it was on people's house. So when the angel of the Lord saw that the blood was on that house, he passed over that house and that sin had been atoned for. But God decided through Christ that he was gonna make he was gonna make he was gonna make sin atone for forever through the death of Christ on the cross. So he, he died on the cross and now we can have that relationship with God that was broken in the Garden of Eden. We can be set free by that. So, because, we're, because as human beings we sin, as human beings we've got these things in us that are not right before God. We've all got sin in our heart. Absolutely. So, even if we did a thousand good deeds a day or twenty thousand good deeds, it's not going to put it with God. He says, I've made the way to salvation. And he said, the, the righteous shall live by faith. So, if we don't believe in God's righteousness, yeah, we can't stand we can't stand in our own righteousness because he says our righteousness is like filthy rags before a holy and righteous God. Well, what's, the, what's the definition of sin? Sin, well, the Old Testament says sin is um, if you hate your brother, you've committed murder. Okay. Right. If you look at a woman with lust, you've committed adultery. Okay. If you steal something, that makes you a thief. Mm -hmm. okay. And there's, there's guaranteed that every human being in this world has broken God's Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. There's not one person that hasn't done anything wrong. Okay. So if we try and live by God's law, the Ten Commandments, we can't do it, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. The only way that we can be made righteous before God is by His grace, by His mercy. 